Okay, uh, good morning. Can you guys hear me and see my screen? Uh, it looks like uh, it was just saying here that I'm getting um, uh, not very high quality streaming here at the moment. So let me know in the uh, advanced webinar. Uh, okay, good morning, Alan. Okay, looks good. Thanks, Sam. All right. Okay, so hold on just a minute. I think I'm set up here now. All right, good. All right, we're all set. Okay, sorry guys. Uh, all right, so uh, uh, yep, this is the uh, Bookmap Advanced Webinar, uh, and uh, we'll do the uh, live forward-looking analysis uh, again today, uh, and then on Friday as well, 10 a.m. Uh, J Trader will be in tomorrow with stocks. Uh, and uh, that'll be live trading and live analysis and then also Scott on Thursday uh, live trading and live analysis for futures uh, so uh, yeah that's the um, uh, agenda here for the week uh, anyone new in here uh, just to, to kind of cover it uh, what we're doing with the education um, is uh, you know we have a educational course that's online uh, there's four parts to it uh, and uh, you know it would be best to watch that uh, because it we're going to talk about those same uh, order flow uh, conditions and phenomena uh, in the live market uh, so you can apply directly what you've learned uh, from that course uh, right into the live market so it's it, it kind of uh, is a uh, good foundation for you uh, to then apply uh, what you've learned uh, into these webinars here so let's go through the disclosures and jump right in and uh, if you have any questions uh, uh, use the um, uh, advanced webinar um, hashtag advanced dash webinar uh, text room uh, to go through and uh, ask any questions. All right. So anyway, general disclosure, all bookmap limited materials, information and presentations are for educational purposes only and should not be considered specific investment advice nor recommendations. The risk disclosure, trading futures, equities, and digital currencies involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. All right, let's jump right in uh, and uh, take a look and see what's going on in here. Uh, looking at the S&P E-mini, unless you guys want to look at something else, let me know. Uh, we, uh, we're just uh, looking at, uh, uh, here's yesterday's action. Okay, I'm using the... Um, a new feature in 7.3 alpha version. It's going to be beta here pretty soon. Uh, so, uh, you know, 7.2 will become the production version. Uh, so you might want to upgrade. Uh, I've been using this alpha version here for many months. It's super stable. I have not had any uh, issues. Uh, but uh, uh, this is something I, I want to cover here. Uh, and I was talking to just a few traders earlier, and there was something on my mind I forgot to, to mention. Um, on the uh, kind of higher time frame and, and what we're looking at in here in yesterday's action okay, because we, we were looking for the move well we we're looking for many moves uh, uh, in yesterday's action um, uh, and ultimately uh, you know it being the first of the year I thought we were going to probably trade up into uh, 4800 and 4810 uh, up here uh, just because uh, you know you get all the um, uh, funds that have to they have to purchase Right. So, well, they did at the end of the day. All right. And that uh, this uh, gives a lot of insight here. Uh, end of the day. OK, look at the look at the buying in here. End of the day uh, and look at the overnight session just dribbled on up into these areas here. And that's where we are now. All right. So uh, back up and, and finally traded up into forty eight hundred. Still looking for forty eight ten here. We just that the open here came close to it here. Uh, but uh, that was it. Uh, not able to get any further yet and just to kind of in a big range bound cluster here at the moment uh, anyway uh, just wanted to mention that and I want to extrapolate this information here to the higher time frame chart okay so let's take a look at our higher time frame 
uh, and uh, just really, really simple uh, charts here. Uh, this is a daily chart over here on the left. Uh, this is an hour chart here uh, in the middle, and then on the right is a 15-minute chart. Uh, I'm looking at the um, uh, only the cash session, right? So uh, you see the gaps in here, uh, and uh, yeah, you can see we're up above here now at all-time highs uh, yet again uh, in this S&P. So uh, the second day of the year, uh, we're trading second trading day of the year. Here we are breaking. Uh, all-time highs. Are we going to accept higher uh, is another question, but uh, looking at this daily chart here, we are bullish, no question about it. All right. So uh, this is a really, really bullish pattern. Even the pullback here uh, is pretty bullish here. It just came back into this little area here, top of the range here. Okay, This is the pullback here, uh, and then it, and it went to the upside here. So this was yesterday, of course, uh, and, then, uh, and then we see the follow-through today. Okay, so nice, nice candle here yesterday, and then above these wicks in here, okay, which in the hour chart would be this little area in here, okay, and we're above it. Okay, we opened above it, uh, and uh, and we need to see if we hold above it though. That's the question, All right? So that's what we're going to be looking at in here. Uh, but uh, what I wanted to cover was yesterday's action on the 15-minute chart. Here's our 15-minute chart. Okay, and I'm going to extend this out uh, to cover this point here. So uh, this was yesterday. We, you know, we had the initial move to the downside here, uh, and uh, uh, and then we were looking for a pullback, which we got. Uh, I thought they at this point here they we would come back up into these wicks and uh, and then maybe trade up into 48 um, 100. We didn't. We had to we rotated back down lower again, but down into these areas again. Wicks down here. They're buying down here. Okay. Now, what is interesting here about structure, uh, and we're going to look at the higher time frame structure, and then we're going to look at book map and confirm it. What's interesting about this move here uh, was the, um, the volume uh, and the time of day in here. We broke the structure here. This swing here, uh, we broke it, and it, it broke here, um, yeah, around, it was around 2.30. Uh, let's see, where's 4 o'clock? right here yeah so uh, so it, it broke it here uh, so we'll go back and take a look at it here but you know it doesn't there's not a whole lot of volume it broke it on uh, so uh, th this is kind of a curious little area right in, right in here um, end of the day we're, we're closing here at four o'clock uh, and we have just tons of volume here this is where we're looking for that move okay on the higher time frame. Uh, and uh, in book map, this is what it looks like here. All right, here's our four o'clock right here. This this line right here. All right, so uh, you can this um, was an overnight play basically. It was an end of the day close here, uh, and we're looking for these. Um, uh, the, there's buyers up at the higher highs here, or you know uh, uh, these areas here. Yeah, uh, be looking for it to trade up into 4800 and 4810. And still looking for it to trade up to 4810. Uh, anyway, just some things to consider. Um, and the uh, the the break here. This is around 2:30 or so East Coast time. Uh, yeah, in here. Um, yeah, this is kind of an in interesting little area in here. A hard read, uh, to be honest. Um, so uh, I think we're <laughs> going to shy away from that hard read. Uh, they did. They, they the buyers were able to push it back up. We didn't find many sellers. So. Uh, and we see the massive transactions, but that was later, though, uh, after it kind of broke away from this area here. Uh, so, uh, yeah, this is kind of tough uh, activity to, to read in the order flow in here. Uh, but the, the, the close here, strong, strong volume. Uh, yeah, I would have been looking for it to trade up into these areas um, uh, overnight or uh, at the open uh, today. Uh, anyway, just some, uh, some thoughts there. Uh, looking at higher time frame uh, analysis. Okay, and starting to understand the same concepts that we're going through in market structure, uh, we're applying here in the higher time frames. Okay, so it's not so much about the, the candlestick patterns or whatever. Uh, we're trying to read the order flow within the candles here. That's what we're trying to do. And you can see, look at the, the kind of transparency you get with candles. Not much, right? It's just open, high, low, and close. That's it. That's all you're getting here. So you're getting the size of the candle, 
uh, the shape of the candle, but you also are getting market structure. So that's good. Uh, and that we can use. So here is the above, above this swing here. Broke out, retested back to it here. And then here's the close and all of that buying here. And then, you know, we, we popped up higher uh, at the at the cash open uh, just now. OK, so are we going to come back down? Are we going to fill the gap in here uh, or are we going to continue on higher? Uh, and uh, this is where we're going to look at bookmap uh, and start to understand what's going on in here right now. Uh, it's just looking at the candlestick chart on the 15 minute. I'm not getting much at all. Uh, we just saw some some sellers come in here now if we get we're going to go into book map and we see a lot of selling down here okay and the order flow and or the order book like maybe they're pulling on the bid here they're adding more on the offer yep then we'd be looking for this to uh, uh, trade lower here and break the swing and accept lower so let's take a look at that scenario here uh, just just by uh, looking at the uh, 15 minute chart here okay so let's uh, jump over to book map all right, and start to understand what's going on in here. All right, well, we're still in an uptrend here. Uh, and uh, here's our structure. There's many different ways to look at it, but uh, I'm just going to draw some trend lines here. Okay, and we're still in an uptrend. Okay, now, did we make a higher high in here? No, we made an equal one. So we're not getting too much out of that uh, at the moment. Okay, we're still bullish, though. All right, so now we were looking for the scenario here not to be bullish uh, by looking at this chart. Just just making a, a lower low here, uh, and uh, we, we want to look at the volume within this area here. Okay, and uh, yeah, a lot of selling in here. Uh, a lot. Is there a lot of buying up here? No. Are there, is there more selling in here? Yeah. Okay. So the, all right. So I'm looking for these sellers to try to break this here. So we're just below 4,800. Let's see if we can get more sellers in here. Uh, look at the offer here. Sellers coming in. Okay, so looking for them to trade down to 98 here. And I, I want to see these guys pull here on the bid at 98 as well. And let's see if we can break down to 95. Okay, now this is really the question is in this little area here. Do we see the sellers we're looking for somewhat? Are they moving it away from this area here? No, not yet. So we have the potential for a false breakdown here and then buyers take it right back up here. Okay, so uh, we don't quite know yet. We're, we're looking for uh, and trying to gain some insight here. Okay, if we can get a retest at 98 and more sellers here, then I think we're gonna get, we'll get the move down to 95 higher probability we'll get the move down to 95. Okay, let's take a look here. Let's zoom in. Okay, no, see how we got sellers here? Not so many sellers on the retest. We need sellers here. There they go. All right, now, did they move the market? No. Okay, now they are. Big iceberg. This is why the market didn't move. Right here, we ran into an iceberg. Okay, so I still don't like it. Um, it looking at higher probability move here uh, because of that absorption on the iceberg. Uh, this makes it kind of convoluted in here. Is this going to be a false breakdown or is it going to continue on to 90, 95 down here? Okay, buyers back up above it now. Okay, are, did they accept above here? Not yet. They're still not not getting clarity yet on this move yet okay we're, we're back into the range a little bit but it's really not that clear okay we're going to get some insight from this 98 and a half liquidity here do buyers are they attracted to it yeah they seem to be okay so yeah let's see if we can get our buyers at 98 and a half and then we should get to 4800 Okay, we're getting more clarity now. I haven't really broken the structure yet, but looking for them to break it right here.
Okay, and there's some liquidity here followed by some buying. All right, buyers should be able to break it here and hit 4,800. Let's see it. Let's see it, buyers. Should be able to do it. We're only talking a couple points here. They cannot. They cannot. They exhaust out. One more shot at it. Do we get our buyers here? Yeah, they, they got it now. They should be able to move it. Okay, there's 4,800. All right, so now now we're back in the range here. Okay, so this was a false breakdown, right? This is where Bookmap can help you. Look at look at this 15-minute chart here. Okay, we were looking for this scenario here. For okay, well, sellers are starting to come in. They're starting to test these lower areas here. All right, well, then they should be able to uh, 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 break this uh, low and then start to trade back down lower. Okay, right now this is a false breakdown. Okay, we're back up into the range here. Now we're back up into the range. And now I should probably go to a five-minute chart to be honest. Um, uh, on the 15-minute chart, though, we're looking for it to come back up to here. You know, this 4805, uh, maybe even higher, 4807 area here. Because we didn't find sellers to break it down here. Do we find buyers to take it back in uh, to these levels here? Yeah, you can see some selling coming in right now. But uh, we're not getting too much out of the 15-minute chart here. Um, let's go maybe to a 5. Yeah, see so, so yeah, how we need to get up here? It's the same ideas, same concepts. We need to get up here and we need to find uh, uh, some buyers. And we, we didn't. Oh, I'm sorry, this is a five minute here. So we, we, we got to see these buyers come back in. And then the first the first stop is actually here now that we've broken this down a little bit more. So let's look at 0350 uh, in book map. Is that a potential target here for buyers to take it? Okay, or... You know, it's, it, we're back into the range, and, and maybe that, that move fails here. I'm still looking for these buyers. I think they got some of these sellers um, uh, on the uh, on the hook here. So a move back up into like 0, 0, 0.2, 0, 0.3 and a half or so uh, looks pretty good. Well, we almost, we basically did that. Well, yeah, we went up to 0.3. Okay, so since we already kind of revisited 03, then uh, let's take that scenario off the table. Uh, because we've already gotten the pullback here. So now we're looking for actually, let's see if we can get sellers again down here. Yeah, all right. Is it, are they starting to move it? Yeah, yeah. All right, let's see if, I'd like to see them move it down into 95 or 96 here and then 95. Okay, look at the wind at our back here. We have the uh, uh, order book uh, on our side, okay, on the offer here, and we're getting sellers. Now they're moving, starting to move it away now. Now let's look at the, the, the move away though here. Okay, are they, they're moving it away, and, you, and we see sellers in here, but look at the dots in here. How are they moving it away? On large selling volume here? No. We want to see bigger dots like this in here. Uh, but we want to see it moving it away. So this this answers a, re, a, a really good question. I think this is a really good example uh, to start to understand the context of volume pressures. I think BP Rules uh, was, was talking about this yesterday or asking about volume pressures in here. And this is a good example. Okay, we're looking for the volume pressures at these, at these levels to gain insight. Okay, we got the volume we're looking for here. We did not get the movement we're looking for. Uh, so this false breakdown was was looking kind of probable. Here we're getting the move we're looking for. We're not getting the volume though, right? So it it's failing. This again is is failing down here. Okay, does that make sense? Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Alan. So, and what does that mean in terms of like, you know, your trading strategies? Uh, well, you're looking for something that goes with the majority of the traders. And that's the best we can do uh, is to gain insight and information with the majority of the traders uh, and, uh, and the follow through uh, due to that. Right. And then we can we can go through other scenarios, though, where, OK, well, the majority of the traders are actually off sides. Uh, and uh, uh, then we look for stop runs uh, and uh, for them to uh, uh, they got it wrong and th and that they're trapped uh, and uh, and we can get really moves really nice moves in the opposite direction all right again still not getting much insight did we get buyers up here nope did they make a higher high nope Right, so uh, still, still not getting much out of this right now. We're back down here though. Now they're pulling here on the on the bid. We're getting we're getting some sellers here. Okay, sellers, you should be able to move this now. We made a, a lower high here and a lower low here. So uh, I'd be looking for sellers in here and for them to swiftly move it. Get these some of these buyers stopped out swiftly move it down into 96 and down to 95. Okay, we're not getting the sellers yet. Not yet. Okay, and this little rotation here, little rotation, let's see if we get some sellers now. Nope. And it's going to be a quick move here, right? These these buyers in here, they're going to be off size. They're going to have to like uh, bail really quickly. Uh, and then we should get the, the quick move down into 90, 96 and 95. And we didn't. Not yet. So buyers are still, they're, they're supporting it down here at this level. Okay, not much. We're still not getting much out of this, to be honest. It's just not really strong volume. Okay, we got a retest here. And uh, no no selling here. Okay, here we go. All right, sellers, now we get, should see the drop. There we go. Okay, now I know that happens quick. Uh, and we're still looking for another drop here. Nice stop run. There's our stop run down here. I'm going to turn the liquidity tracker off. There was questions about the liquidity tracker yesterday, so uh, that's why I had it up. Let me know if you still have questions on that liquidity tracker. Happy, happy to go through it. Okay, how much of a stop run was this? Um, eh, not bad, three or four hundred or so. Boy, that was it, really, and another false breakdown. Yeah, I mean, this this bottom edge here has uh, been kind of you you know wishy washy back back and forth in here. Uh, I thought we'd get to ninety five. Um, pretty sure about that, but uh, no, no, it got to ninety six, and that was it. And uh, look at the buyers trying to get these guys going the wrong way as well. Well, and there's stops in here. This is something we covered yesterday. What kind of volume is this in here? Right, well, it's, it's, there's a lot of stops in here. Okay, and we can look at that. We set it around three or 400. Well, let's take a look exactly how what what's going on in here. So yeah, quite a bit are stops in here. And let's turn on the uh, on chart indicator as well and verify that. Let's 
subchart. Where is my stops? Uh, hmm. All right, let's add it here. Hold on a minute. Oh, <laughs> okay. I, I gotta, I gotta bump up my permissions. Um, so uh, yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I don't have permission right now uh, to it, so uh, we won't be able to look at the uh, on chart. Uh, that's okay. Uh, you know, we, we can kind of look at it down here and and, and piece it together. Uh, but um, uh, nine negative negative one thousand down to yeah, so about three hundred. Okay, and we can look at the volume in here too. So. Uh, a lot of these are stops, right? So now, w w like we were talking yesterday, these are stops. Okay, look at this beautiful move to the upside, which I'm missing now because I'm trying to cover this. Sorry about that. Um, uh, now, the, the, the move down below this edge here, these are stops. Okay, a lot of them are stops. So if this is people getting stopped out of the market, then almost... In, in essence, this is almost like exhaustion, basically. It's not, there's not many new uh, positions in here. So there's, they're not sellers in here. Okay, so in, in what we look for in exhaustion is a lack of sellers. So new sellers. And we're not, we're not seeing uh, new sellers in here. Okay, so that's why I'm saying that it's kind of like exhaustion. And this is where we're getting buyers back up above, back into the range like we were looking for over in here that we, we found. Now we're looking for it here, and we got them. And they came up, they traded into 05, looking for 10 now. Okay, now let's take a look at our, let's take a step back, look at our market structure, and start to understand what's going on in here. All right, so this is where sellers came in and dropped it here. Okay, we just tested up to it. Okay, we're getting a bit of a pullback here. Let's just start to just market structure here. We, in fact, let's turn volume off. And let's even turn the heat map down. And let's mark up stru some market structure here. Okay. Lots of structure here. Here's the, here's the false breakdown here or that stop run. Okay. Now, I would be looking for a pullback to this area here. It may pull back to here. Or it could even pull back to here, but this is the first pullback, top of that top of this range. Looking for buyers now, and let's let's look at this edge here, this top kind of edge of the uh, of the structure, and let's see if we see buyers in here. Okay, do we get the heat map supporting this? We can see a lot of icebergs in here. That's good. About 300. Okay, so now they're, they're testing the bottom of the next level here. Okay, and, and here's 4,800, and we see liquidity there. Okay, sellers take them on. Okay, so now we're, we're looking we're looking for here for, for buyers. Well, we're going to get some insight. Uh, one of the the main scenario here is we're looking for buyers because uh, it's bouncing off the structure, and this is a bullish bullish structure here. This is where buyers took control in this small time frame here. Okay, so we're looking for our buyers in here. So we don't see them yet. We're still making lower lows and lower highs in here. Okay, here we go. Now, now we're looking, we, we got some buyers here. Okay, so are they going to take this immediately? Let's, let's take a look. We probably get another rotation back down. Now, back up here again, looking for our buyers. And we should get, we should get the move. We should get a breakout here. Up to 02, 04, 05, 06, and then our, our 10 level here. Okay, one more rotation 
S&P never fails to do another rotation. Okay, so now we're not we're not getting them, still not getting them. Uh, now we've tested our next level down here, for that pullback. Okay, still still remaining bullish though because of our time frame, um, on this this small time frame here, in this bullish move. Okay, and we're not we're not seeing it here, still this is not bullish here. Okay. All right, we got our buyers at this edge here, top edge, looking looking for them to, to, to drive it up into O2 here. You know, we, we came back down here. Now they're starting to nibble away at it. We're looking for them, though, to break this here. Let's, let's see these buyers come in here. Not yet, not yet. Yeah, exhaustion and sellers kind of dribbling right back down into where these buyers initiated this little move. Okay, do we get some exhaustion down here on the sell side? Do we see buyers starting to come in? There's some exhaustion right there. And there, that's not the case any longer. But we've moved through all of these areas here on the pullbacks here. So, all right, so this is where it truly initiated here. This is a, this is a very, very steep pullback. Okay, now we're getting some support here at the bottom of the, of the range. We see some, some buying now starting to come in. Okay, there's our exhaustion. Here's our buyers. Boy, looking for it, looking for it here. No. Nope. Okay, all the way back down to the the uh, open, or I'm sorry, the low of the day here for the cash cash session. Yeah, it blew through all of these levels in here. Well, it didn't blow through it, but we just didn't find the buyers in here. And we're looking for them. That's the primary scenario here is to look for the buyers in these areas um, because, uh, you know, we, we found a bullish move, right? So we'd be looking for that to be supported. Uh, once we once we are through some of these levels in here and sellers start to take control on the other side here, uh, let's see if they do. Uh, then we're going to get a really nice move to the downside here. Uh, let's see, Alan, isn't that responsive buying? Yeah, could be. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's really good, Alan. Thank you. Yeah, right up into point of control. So this is responsive buying back to the, the, the mean here. Uh, and you can see they didn't get above it. Yeah, really good point, Alan. Yeah, why wouldn't you expect it? Yeah, I, I should have looked at that uh, earlier. Your comment, you were spot on.
uh, isn't there always a response of buying or selling uh, to a stop run? Um, not always. No, not at all. That's not true. Um, uh, a lot of times you'll see a stop run uh, through an area, but it, it still accepts uh, in that area. So, it, you know, that's that's a tricky um, uh, tricky thing to kind of learn is you look for the order flow phenomena and then you look for that's the event then you look for the order flow around that event that's the key yeah that's a real nice catch there though on this uh i mean point of control and um let's take a look here yeah so yeah right back into the mean Okay, and then now they're trying to move it away from the mean here. And uh, boy, it's choppy. I mean, like it's running into like lots of liquidity in here, it's starting to find some buyers. Lots of icebergs here as well. The icebergs are really um, starting to, uh, so this is like 1500 in here. Okay, and, and absorption in this area here. Now let's go through this here because like, uh, you know, we kind of dribbled into ice or um, uh, high liquidity here, here, uh, and then right now here, and and we see that the icebergs they're they're, they're buying in this these areas here, and we saw some of the buying over in these areas previously as well. So let's mark up where all of these icebergs took place. Okay, and so we have you know almost five thousand in here, so that's not bad. Uh, and um, they started here. Okay, so larger players are starting to buy. We also see it's just not just larger players in here that we want to look at, but we just want to kind of get a feel for where where are they, uh, and they're in this kind of bigger zone in here. In particular, they are kind of in this little zone, this little zone. And then this zone here. So what we can uh, look for is a scenario here uh, for these icebergs in here that if if they're if they're going to be uh, buying uh, on the way down into these areas here. Uh, We look for this kind of a, the 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 order flow to kind of shift and change, and we're looking for that right now. I mean, right now we're we're looking we're we're bearish here. We were bullish in this little time frame here, and we're looking for pullbacks, and none of them unfolded. Okay, it was like Alan said, this is more like a, a mean reversion trade, and then moving to the outside edge again here. And we are trending lower, but not by much here. So we're, what we're, and what I'm covering here is just market structure, starting to understand this market structure in here. Okay, making lower lows. Okay, we made a higher, um, higher high here or above of the uh, structure here. Okay, but not, it did not make a higher high above this swing up here. So in essence, go back to our candlestick chart. We're still in a downtrend here. Okay, and then the structure would be basically down here to 87, and that would be the gap fill. We can also look at the uh, the entire um, session. Yeah, so maybe move down into this kind of 93 area here. Looks pretty good. And there it is. Okay, 91. 
Again, more icebergs still buying. Okay, now we're up to uh, 6,200. Is there a gap fill in here, right? Yeah, that'll be our gap fill. Yeah, 87, yeah. Still want to mark up our icebergs in here. All right, let's see here. Let's, let's see what's unfolding. Any other markets you guys want to look at? We can we can also do that. Um, just kind of curious to see if we're gonna if this was enough of a gap fill here. I mean, 87's down here, right? That's our gap. Uh, we got to get through this wall of liquidity here. God, it's just been, you know, just slow. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, ni nice movement here on the sell side um, and, uh, and and volume. So we got, uh, uh, you know, some price movement and, and some volume here. Uh, but the buyers are just, they're trying to force it here and try to push it back up above where, where the drop from here. Okay, let's see if we can get our sellers down here for one more test into the 91 and 90 area here.
Okay, some exhaustion here, not able to make a higher high. Let's see if it, we, we still may get some buyers back up here, but look at the exhaustion here, not making a higher high, looking for sellers here. And let's see if they can take it down here. They should be able to take it down. Yeah, back down to 91 and a half here uh, and maybe 90. Now just reading the order flow within this little range in here. Now this is this is this is kind of a tricky range in here to to read that. Um, uh, you know, the, 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 you get these little points in here, uh, and uh, a lot of times you'll see buyers give it one more shot up here, then it, it exhausts out, and then you get the the move back down. Uh, but just going with what we know and what we're reading in the order flow, yeah, we're not making uh, a higher high. We're seeing it exhaust out here. We're not finding buyers in here. We're not really finding a lot of sellers down here either, though. So uh, that's it's still not making it look too enticing here. All right, so now we should get some more sellers here. Let's see this liquidity here at 95, and let's see these sellers come in here. Right here is where we need to see them. 93 and 3 quarters. No sellers. Okay, rotate back down. We should get sellers here. We should, and then they, they should be able to move it down to 91 and a half. 91 and a half has pulled, uh, so basically it's down to 90 here. And we're still not getting our sellers here. Still not getting the uh, the volume we're looking for. The, the structure is looking good. Exhaustion is looking good. Just need to see sellers here. Then that's how that's what makes the market move is the is these aggressors looking for them to move it. Uh, yet again, uh, down into the, the lower lows here. Okay, another rotation. Another rota many rotations here. All right, sellers, here we go. This, this, the rotation looks better. Yeah, it's doing it. It's not really great volume yet again, but it's doing it. It's better. All right, sellers, let's see it. Let's see if you can, you should be able to take this down. We see on the bid here, we, you know, the, the, the bid is, the, you know, there's, they're showing liquidity in here, right? Um, so that, that's, it's, again, it's, it's not high probability. Like we've seen many, many non-high probability uh, kind of scenarios here. And we, we want to see these guys pull that liquidity. We don't want to see them front running this. We want to see our sellers in here. Now the sellers are starting to take it lower, but I want to see them. I want to see high liquidity on the on the offer underneath here, uh, and then the move lower. So we're getting our move. Okay, this is what we wanted to see. This kind of liquidity here. All right. So all right. So now let's let's look for this uh, 90, and then through 90, we're looking for our gap fill. Uh, 87. Let's mark up 87. Okay, and the funny thing is there's not a whole lot of liquidity down there at 87. It's starting to come in a little bit now, but you know, they're here at 90. Okay, and 90 just transacted. 
and they're still here. So that means that was absorbed completely, completely absorbed here. Another iceberg here. Well, we're up to our cumulative volume of delta is up to about 7,000 now, almost, uh, in icebergs. Okay, so, you know, we're putting together, we're kind of building another uh, uh, scenario and consensus here. More icebergs. Okay, gap fill, and then we're looking for uh, buyers to start to come in. Again, 90 completely absorbed yet again. All right, now they should be able to trade through it. Huh, more more at 90 still. Wow. Wow, look at the icebergs. Look at the this is a great little thing to see in here. Look at look at the uh, absorption in here. Why can't they move there they go. Now they're able to move it. Okay. Well, they they were not able to move this lower. Uh because there's an iceberg absorbing all of it. There's not liquidity in here. This was, uh, uh, well, it's liquidity in general, but like uh, um, it, it, there's an iceberg on the other side. It's a hidden order. Look at all these transactions, over 2,000. Well, well, let's see, what was it? Yeah, over 2,000 in here. Finally broke it, though, uh, able, able to break through it. Okay, so now we've even made it through our gap fill down here. Okay, let's take a look here. Let's see if we get some buyers starting to come in now. Let's take a look at our, our higher time frame. Here's our gap fill. Okay. Not seeing it yet, but let's let's take a look at book map. Okay, here here we go. Here we got, got some buyers here back up to 90 or 87. I'm sorry, 87 liquidity here. All right, let's see if we get more buyers here. Okay, see the buying that came in here, looking for buyers up here. Look, want to see these guys pull their liquidity at 88, 88, 50. Okay, looking for more on the bid uh, to start to kind of chase after here. And we're not ready yet. It's, just, it's not ready for a turning around quite yet. And let's get a little insight from this 87 liquidity in here. Yeah, still pushing lower. The S and P is a you know one thing that's really nice about the S and P is the way that uh, uh, in here you'll see the uh, this liquidity in here. Now this is like like a spoof basically, but we get insight from it. What does the market think of this? This is the one of the you know beautiful things about Bookmap is someone came in here with high liquidity and, and moved it down three times or yeah once twice three times here. Uh, and then what was the reaction to that? What did the market think of that here? It's, it's, it's testing and probing uh, these areas here. Okay, now now we just traded down to 90, 90, or I'm sorry, 85, looking for buyers to come in above it here. Let's see if we can move right back up to this 88 level here. Okay, I like it um, because uh, this is gonna be a, it's not much of a stop run, interesting. Um, but uh, we're down below the, the gap. Uh, and uh, we're above this little area here at 85. I want to see the buyers try to take it back up to this 88 and 88.50 level here. Okay, this is starting to look higher probability now because we've got we we came back down. We've we've gotten below the gap. Okay, so now we're looking for buyers to support this and trade it back up into these areas here. And we're just looking for buyers in here. Uh, if that scenario is going to play out. Not yet. We're still downtrending, lower lows, lower highs. We got lots of icebergs, though. We got even more icebergs here. 
and that this is a great little absorption in icebergs here that maybe you have to kind of kind of cover that again you know we, we traded into absorbed at 90 absorbed at 90 then there is no liquidity but they're still absorbing and that's our that's that iceberg in here all right so now the first thing we're going to look for in in this uh uh, potential reversal here because it's starting to look at it getting it's getting interesting here um, is uh, we're, we're looking for the structure to start to break okay and it's not right now it's still trending Still trending. More icebergs. We're, we're getting up to 10,000 now in terms of icebergs. Great. All right. So looking for these buyers. We're looking for buyers in here. We, we broke the little trend here. Now we need to start to look at some of these structural areas. This is actually the first one. There's another one here. Okay, we're looking at the swings, and then the other one is up here. So do we get buyers and, and starting to trade into these structural areas here? And are they able to, to, to move it higher and, and break it? Not yet. Okay, they broke the trend line, but they didn't break the, the swing in here. And this is the first thing to look for. Now, reversals are really tricky. I mean, you can see it's easier just to go with the trend. Okay, buying's pretty good here. I like it. All right, let's see it back up into 81. And then we're looking for the break, our break of 81 here. Okay, there we go. Okay, they should be able to break it. Yeah, the buying looks good. See the see the distinction in the in the buying in here. Okay, compared selling in here, buying in here, buying in here again. Looking for 83, and then 85 here. A bit of a pullback. Let's see them come right back in. Okay, starting to. I don't want to see them down here, though. I want to see them up here. This is what matters. Okay, we broke the structure, but we're back in the range here. Yet again, iceberg. Okay, we're almost, we're getting up to almost 10,000 now. Wow. Okay, 78. Okay, we're over 10,000 now. Let's take a look at structure again. I'm waiting for this structure here to break. Let's take a look at our higher time frame. Yikes. All the way down to this swing here. Okay, down to yesterday's action. Okay, down below this swing here. Yeah, this is that area. This is the swing we're looking at yesterday here. Okay, we're down to it now again. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I'm looking for buyers down here. Like the higher time frame, this is this is a really good area that this is where we broke out from, right? So yeah, we're going to get some profit taking in here. Uh, we should get our buyers in here now. Let's take a look.
Okay, here we go. All right, so they should be able to trade back up to 76 and three quarters. Yep, buying looks good. Okay, I want to see them break it on this move here. I want to see it up into 79 and 80. I think they got it here. When when we get these moves that are really kind of and they continue and and uh, uh, we can get these really really strong uh, reversal moves. Um, it could still be in a downtrend, but you'll just see these really strong reversal moves back up into these areas here. Okay, and and uh, this is where you don't get uh, your kind of nice bottoming pattern, uh, uh, like or in turning around, like it's it's filling liquidity, filling liquidity, filling liquidity, uh, and then uh, and then turns around. Uh, this is you're going to get like a really strong move here, uh, most likely, most likely. Right now we know we've been we've been tracking these icebergs all the way along, and here's more in here. Okay, and we're over ten thousand. Okay, so we know the larger players are pretty pretty well positioned. Okay, so we're just looking for our buyers now. We're looking for others to kind of clue into all of the absorption uh, from the, from the buy side here. Okay, so. And uh, we're looking for a pretty pretty strong move out of some of these areas here. So this was a, this was a strong move to the downside here. Okay, so looking for it here. Okay, coming back up. All right, here here we go. Let's see if we can get into this liquidity here. Might need to pull back still to seventy six, or seventy six and three quarters. This is it's crazy. I mean, it, it it went ten points below that gap fill. More than ten points. Yeah, here we go. Big green dot. This is what I'm looking for here. Let's see if we can get that into eighty one and through it. Nope. Not yet. All right, let's see if we got our big green dot here. Yeah, I think we're getting ready to turn around here now. And we can even start to draw in maybe some trend lines. opposite direction yep looking for the pop through 81 on up to maybe our 85 and then 87 level So you know we talked about this the other um, week um, about uh, the the larger players and and the um, uh, this is that day uh, in fact let's let's even let's even re rewind here uh, the daily chart here we saw this kind of similar thing I mean this was just amazing down here like those thirty four thousand or more um, icebergs getting filled and that's just icebergs not just there was limit buy orders all the way down too into this area and it just kept going right um uh so uh uh but we're we were watching it and waiting and we're, we're doing the same thing here and we're looking at the larger players as well in here 
And you can see how this works here. Larger players are a part of the puzzle. Okay, but the order flow is just still, you know, taking it to the downside here. The trend was still down. We were just looking for the buyers to start to come in. Okay, and we're still looking for them. And it's still in a downtrend, basically. Okay, but yeah, and we sh if we do get these buyers in here, this should be a really nice move to the upside. Okay. And what I'm trying to, uh, my point is, is these larger players getting filled in here, although it's still moving against them, uh, it's starting to kind of turn the bigger ship around. Okay, look at, now we're starting to see buyers here, right? Now we're starting to break this swing here. Okay, so uh, now we're looking for uh, it up into this uh, other swing at here at 83 to begin with. Uh, and then up into this kind of 85 and 87 level here. Okay. So when are the other, uh, um, when are sellers going to kind of look at this and go, yeah, you know, I, I think I'm, I'm ready to start buying. Or when are other buyers going to start to look at the and, and say like, yeah, I, I think I'm ready to start buying too. I think the, the you know, the, the, the selling is finished here. Yeah, that, that's correct, uh, uh, on point. The the, the uh, overall widget counter here is uh, over 10,000 10, of buying ice. Yeah, we've been watching the whole way down, starting here, starting back here. And you can see the, the climb, right? Really picked up in this little area here, around that 90 uh, area. All right, let's see the buyers move it right back up to 81. Looking for it. Okay, and then looking for the breakout at 81 at this point, up into 83 and 85 here. Yeah, here we go. All right, they're pulling here at 81. They should, so they should be able to move it up into like 83 ish up in here the swing on the bid at higher levels here as well now let's see what was what is the reaction to some of this higher bidding uh in this area and we're actually finding some sellers here so they're kind of interested in the bid still okay when are they repelled by it when are they repelled by this in here here's here's yet again another uh, iceberg hundred or so hundred and fifty okay let's see it let's see it buyers a lot of selling up here this is where you don't want to see selling because you can get the buyers right right above them here and then squeeze them Okay, looking for a stop run now. A stop run to the upside, not to the downside.
Okay, here we go. All right, big green cluster is what we're looking for, and then the move. Eighty-three, eighty-five, eighty-seven. Let's see it. Should be able to do it. They should. They, they've got. They've. They've kind of turned it around here. I think they. they we've got the buyers on the side here. Uh, we've seen the icebergs all the way down. Uh, but people are starting to kind of clue in. I think to it. All right. Now we're just looking for follow through. even more icebergs they're just buying at the lows here again and again here well that's at the high and then here though all right all right let's see it again above this little area here there they go. Looks good. Back up to the 80, uh, 81. <laughs> Should get it. It's looking pretty, pretty good. They're up here. Uh, we got a P-shaped profile, you know, which just means the majority of the trading is taking place up here. That's value. And we're looking for that value area to break and looking for buyers to extend it above that value area here. So looking for our buyers to take it back up to here. And then the break. Uh, big T, the, um, could the 30 year be, be um, Affecting the ES, yeah, absolutely. I, I don't know what the 30 years is doing right now. That's a good point. Like, uh, you know, we've seen, when we see these kinds of moves, we're waiting for this to unfold here forever. I mean, this entire webinar, basically. Um, the um, uh, It's a good point. We should look at some of these consul um, uh, other markets here. Like yeah, maybe we're not going to get it yet. Like look look at the uh, um, the Nasdaq selling off here. Well, when this starts to turn around, what about the well? The, the looks like this is already starting to turn around. The, the Russell. So this is good, right? Looking for the breakout here on the Russell on up into uh, uh, 2268 or or maybe even 2270. The swing up here, uh, and I'd be yeah, I'd be looking for that move in this Russell uh, right now. So what about Nasdaq? Okay, it it needs to get up here at uh, this 212 area uh, and then then we need to see the buying up here and then the break okay but it's starting to do it it's starting to kind of climb up here we just need to see them up here okay, and once we get that then we should get the break now the s p same thing okay so it's starting to climb up here we're starting to see it so they're starting to all kind of turn around um this is a it, it's something i i really like looking at uh, is understanding the correlated uh, markets. Uh, I, I think you can, um, and talk about value in auction market theory, okay, that you, you're starting to look at other markets and their value. And it's all referential. Uh, because you, you look at, uh, uh, you know, if you, if you look at any currency, uh, it, it's always one compared to another. any of the forex traders out there so it's a reference yeah let's let's take a look at uh, is this nasdaq starting to do it yeah yeah i mean the nasdaq's poised it's just poised to break right here uh up into uh, i like this kind of 25 or 20 um uh 2 225 area here 
uh, looks like it would be a great, great breakout here. Okay, looking for it, all right? S&P should follow suit. Okay, we, we know the Russell's already kind of leading the, the market there. Uh, let's see, another question. Why are the big green dots at the top of the move uh, within the current range? And then price goes down inversely, big red dots at the bottom. Or next leg up, um, is this the current ES screen from 1106 time frame? Eleven oh six. So in here you're talking about. Yeah. Okay. Well. Um, okay. So you get you get eleven oh six. Sorry. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, the, the big green dots up here, but then we we get, you know, we're down below that area here. I mean, you know, it, it's just uh, it's it's a structural area like we're looking at. And we're looking at the volume within that area. Yeah, I mean, uh, sometimes I mean you'll see this more in stocks. Um, you you could still get more buying and and price can go down, uh, basically, because someone could be on the other side absorbing it. It's it's a weird phenomena. It 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 does look weird, but uh, you, you I mean it's possible to do um, that. Uh, you you'll get you know bigger you know green dots on the way down um, because uh, someone's on the other side absorbing, or you know there's liquidity there, but there's no liquidity on the bid, so it takes very little selling uh, to go back uh, to go back down. So for example, we can look at low volume pullbacks. It's kind of a similar um, phenomena. Yeah, it, it, you, it is weird to see. I agree, and it kind of kind of throws you off a little bit. Uh, but uh, it's the um, um, uh, what was I going to say? Uh, it is the um, uh, you know understanding that uh, there's not too much on the bid. Oh, and that's that's where I was going to go with a low volume pullback. So it move back down, uh, and then it moves back up, but on very little volume. Okay, so you know, uh, we can take a look at some areas in here as a low volume pullback. So yeah, strong volume. Okay, moving it away from these areas in here, and and then look at the buying that 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 came back here. So let's actually go through this, and I'm gonna. Uh, I hope we're not getting our breakout right now. I'd be upset because we've been waiting this whole time for it, and I'm gonna demo this. Um, so uh, let's take a look at this area in here and look at imbalance uh, in terms of um, a volume. Okay, so there's more selling in here. Uh, even the move back up into this area here, there's there's more selling. Okay, from here uh, on on down to here, and uh, it, you know, there's more selling even though price you know was able to come back up into this area is, is on lower volume. Okay, now it's not quite the same phenomena, but uh, uh, you get the point. I think that you know you get this massive selling moving it away, and then it dries up. And with not very much volume on the buy side, they can move it right back up into where it dropped from. Now, all right, let's go back to this current market. I'm just really curious to see what the hell is going on here. I cannot believe this. Still, still rotating lower. Wow. I thought we really had it here, really, really had it. Um, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe, maybe this is uh, kind of the uh, the bottom of the uh, of the range here. But uh, yeah, I thought we're looking pretty poised, especially when we have Nasdaq. But Nasdaq totally failed here. And what about Russell? Uh, Russell's it, it's it's back down, but it's. All right, well, let's see if we get our buyers back up above this little breakdown here. 
it just it just looks odd here uh, that uh, it, it's it's going down like this, um, and we're just seeing all this absorption, and we still haven't turned around yet. Okay, so I yeah, I'm looking for it to turn around. Let's look at our higher time frame. So we're, we're, we're just kind of bouncing around in this little area that we're looking at in that 15 minute chart right here. And it's still just kind of bouncing around or the five minute chart. All right, well, let's take a look at this five-minute chart, and then we'll end the webinar here. So this is this has not been a very good webinar. Sorry, guys. Um, the, um, you know, this is why, like, <laughs> you know, we're looking and trying to read this and be very objective about it. Uh, and um, uh, we're, the scenario is, is still kind of like, um, I mean, we're looking at the absorption. We're, we're waiting and watching for these buyers to kind of turn around uh, and come back in. And they just, they we just see more and more selling pressure, but there's still more and more and more um, uh, buying uh, on the iceberg side. And, uh, you know, we're just kind of waiting and watching. It just it never has done it. Didn't didn't follow through on the higher time frame here uh, on this uh, on this move um, or on this scenario. OK, I'm still waiting and watching for it here. Okay, it has been very informative. Just tough market, great webinar. Thank you. I, I really appreciate that. But uh, um, no, my, the job is to read the order flow, uh, and uh, uh, you know, I mean, basically, it's one scenario that we're kind of looking for here, <laughs> and uh, that's my fault. Uh, so uh, my my bad on that. Um, I, I'm still waiting and watching for it. Okay, it just it may it's just a higher time frame kind of scenario here. I mean, this might be it. This could be it right here, right now at 77, looking for these buyers and looking for the move back to 81 and then the break at 81 right here. Uh, but uh, uh, anyway, we'll, we'll see the distinction. You'll you'll see it when when uh, it, it starts to uh, to turn around. I mean, it's just. You know, the, the whole, everyone gets on, on, on board and you see that the move is, is quite strong. Yeah, end of, the, end of the Santa Claus rally today. Yeah, yeah, potentially. Yeah, I mean, uh, yesterday we were looking for an up day and it was, it was down, but it was up at the end of the day. Uh, and uh, God, I was waiting for that. Um, uh, and it did follow through. Um, <laughs> okay, David, uh, thank you. Uh, you you were looking for the same thing and uh, um, yeah I mean the market's always right I mean this is the thing and this is what's so great about analyzing the order flow is like the market's always right so uh, just go with the flow uh, and and look for those kind of um, keys into that flow becoming higher probability move. So if I if I look back at my uh, analysis here, like I was starting to assume gap fills, you know, when are the buyers going to come in? Um, we initially started uh, the the webinar uh, looking for this area up in here and for the sellers to drop it, okay? and then they then we we're looking for the buyers starting to come in here, and then we we're looking for back up into these wicks up here in here. We did get the move into O. Oh, well, it came back up into 05 or 06. Um, but as Alan pointed out, this was actually point of control. So this is more of responsive buying. This is the move, um, uh, you know, to to the uh, away from uh, value area. And and Alan, Alan was right on that one. Uh, and um, uh, then it's like, okay, well, in here, all right, they're going to drop it. Then we're looking for the gap fill. Okay, we did get that. And then I'm... I'm at, from from here all the way down. I'm, I've been looking for buyers. So, uh, 
and uh, you know I, I was assuming because of the gap fill on the higher time frame okay so looking at the structure in here now I like this structure here from yesterday because this was kind of an important area here and, and we see wicks now here right so now we're we're starting to see our buyers come in right we got to get up here though it's got to get it got to get above this 81 level here um, and it's got to be on strong strong buying Okay, then we can get the move back up into the first one I'd be looking for is kind of what we said 85 to 87. Okay, something like that. But up to 87 looks pretty good uh, to me. Okay, and then if we can get back up above it, we're, we're, then we're looking for back up into this 95 area up here. Yeah, looking for them right here, right now, up into 81. Right, we're above our little area here. We're seeing our buyers here, looking for them to go after this liquidity at 81. Here we go. Let's see it. Come on, buyers. Step on it. I mean, they're still still showing you know supply up here, but uh, they're they're we're hanging out up here. So I think they were going to go for it and trade into it here. Right. So the reaction to this liquidity up in here really didn't sell off. So, you know, they're still interested in, in this liquidity here. The aggressors are interested in it. That, that's what we want to kind of determine is that context. Okay, what, what if we get on the, on the uh, bid here, high liquidity here, then we want to read that and see are sellers interested or does it repel sellers and we find buyers instead? Because right now they're down here, 75 and, and three quarters or so. Okay, where we broke out from right here. Okay, a little bit of a push here underneath would be really great to see because I, I bet we're going to we see a reaction uh, to the upside if we get liquidity on the bid here. See, they're adding here on the offer, right, at 79. A little bit is coming in there. It's blue in there. See that? Okay. And and we found some sellers. So, yeah, and, and here they come again. So do we find buyers interested? Yeah, now they took them on here. That little area in here. Okay, great. All right, there we go. There's our push. All right, we should get our move here. Finally, we should get our move here at least 81. Um, and I'm looking for a, a really big break of this uh, here. Back to 87 to, for starters. 85, 87. Here we go. Let's see it. And we don't want to see paltry little green dots in here. We want to see big green dots moving this market. Yeah, the European close as well, David. That's a good point. Really good point. It's been down all the way. Now, you know, Europe, European, uh, that's, that's it's a really good point. Uh, you know, we used to have these webinars that would uh, start at 11, and the European close was always in there. It was always tricky. Uh, and then you get past that European close, uh, and then you, you, you can actually start to, we saw a lot of movement, um, you know, around 11.45 or, or 12, 
um, when the uh, the webinars were just ending um, and in some follow through uh, in, in a trend or something uh, after the European close. Okay, guys, we got through our 81 here. Um, I'm still looking for 87 uh, and uh, 90, et cetera. Uh, we've, let's just kind of look at our icebergs at 10,000 um, from here on down. So yeah, we can even like start to look at where, where would these larger players start to be in profit? Okay, likely this they'll probably be in a profit up here around 90. Yeah, probably around 90, uh, to be honest. Uh, so, but we can start to look at some of these levels here. So 90 would be good. Also 95 or 96 up here would be really good. Uh, and uh, then all the way back up to, uh, yeah, this is where they started to come in. So around this kind of 05 area up here. All right, so so uh, let's keep an eye out on on those levels here. Now this is a higher time frame move, right? That we're looking for. Okay, starting to play out. So we're looking for first our 87 level here. Okay, so starting to come in. High liquidity here between 85 and 87. Or I'm sorry, uh, 82 and 87. I think they're going to get out of the way, though. I think buyers are going to come in here pretty hard. Uh, but we need to wait. We need to watch and, and, and see here. Okay, Do we get buyers back up here and then these guys, do they start to pull? Do they add more on the bid here? Yeah, here we go. All right. Buyers, boom, looking for it. Big, big green dot here and to pull it up and through these areas. Okay, they're on the bid at see the blue underneath here this is good it's good to see that they're they're bidding up uh around this 80 level Yeah, looking for it here. S stop run to, God, still stop runs to the downside here. We're looking for stop runs to the upside now. How's our NASDAQ doing? Okay, it's starting to turn around. Okay, that's good. How's our Russell? Russell just kind of does its own thing. Um, yeah, Russell pulled back, but it's starting to kind of turn around as well. Looking for the Russell to come back up into 64. And our S&P is just, it's set up. It's all set up nicely here. Volume is starting to pick up. It's looking better. So this was a kind of a higher time frame look, very similar, well, somewhat similar to the other day. Um, I think it was the 20th um, uh, when we saw that uh, uh, this move down into this uh, uh, swing here. Strong, strong down day, right? And we were looking for it below the swing. We, we thought maybe even this swing down here. And we just saw icebergs all the way down here, just getting filled, getting filled, getting filled. Uh, so uh, uh, now you can see like our structure here broken and we see that some pretty strong strong buying coming in just by the size of the candle here right so we're looking for a continuation right this was a small pullback we're looking for a continuation uh, and the 87 level is our kind of first level uh, in the candlestick chart in the five minute this 91 level up here uh, looks pretty good also okay that's where it dropped from over here 
uh, earlier. So that's another one to look at. But that's that's the the candlestick structure. We are looking at 90. Here's our 91 up here, right? So yeah, it could be in there as well. We can we can mark that up horizontal line, right there. Okay. All right, well, let's see if these, uh, you know, everyone's kind of on the same page now uh, looking for follow through here uh, like we were back over here uh, and looking looking for follow through on the um, on the upside here. L lots of icebergs on the way down. Uh, they're positioned. So we're looking for it, it to just the market just kind of float back up into these areas here. All right, let's end the webinar at that, uh, guys. So uh, uh, yeah, keep keep an eye on this uh, higher time frame uh, trade here in the order flow, uh, and we'll look for some follow through. And then uh, J Trader will be in tomorrow. We'll go over um, the uh, uh, the S and P for like the first fifteen or twenty minutes before he gets in, uh, and then and then we'll go through the, some of the details uh, in in stocks with with J Trader. All right. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, uh, uh, Vindich. Uh, Tom B. He'll start on the 18th. Yeah. He'll, he'll be in on the 18th. And uh, it won't be in this room. It's going to be in his own room. <laughs> You're welcome, David. Yeah, no, no problem. Um, yeah, looking forward to it, guys. We're, I mean, we're going to be building out our Discord uh, and, um, uh, you know, having multiple rooms, multiple streaming. I mean, it, this should be just um, heaven for you guys. Uh, you, all sorts of information you're going to get. Tom, of course, goes through volume profile uh, and, uh, and the S&P. And, uh, you know, I, I go through a bit of that, but uh, I try to be more flexible for all sorts of different traders. Uh, so uh, pattern traders, um, you know, fib traders, uh, candlestick traders, uh, just, you know, just general structure, uh, et cetera, uh, and, and volume profile. Uh, and that's why I was looking for that gap fill and then looking for a bounce out of that area. And boy, just kept on going. Um, but uh, now I'm looking for the buyers to take it right back to that gap fill area um, or, you know, where it... Uh, yeah, that gap full area where it where it uh, filled it there. Um, all right, well we'll wrap it up. Thanks everybody, and uh, we will catch up tomorrow. Okay. Yep. All right. Thanks, Owen. Thanks, uh, Eighth Trader. <laughs>